Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good. Dr. M.K. here and welcome back to our channel. So before getting into the topic, I would like to wish you all a very happy new year 2024. So in the video, you will be able to see all of you in the video. So if you think about it, you will be happy and successful. Now let us get into the topic. So in the recent past, I haven't made any videos based on MSc level syllabus. So I have decided to start this year with the MSc level syllabus topic. So the topic is CMICN dense tested reaction. And this reaction is going to be useful to those who are preparing for PGTRB examination, uh, GATE examination, SET examination and CSR examination. And I am going to discuss this reaction in detail. Along with that, I am going to discuss a couple of previous year CSR questions also. Shall we start? First, let us discuss what is the meaning of CMACN dense tetrad reaction. It is a transformation of pyrrole into 3 haloperidine by heating the mixture of pyrrole and haloform or methylene halide in alkaline solution. Therefore, this reaction is known as CMACN dense tetrad reaction. Actually, this is a pyrrole molecule. And this molecule is treated with sodium hydroxide along with haloform. to form free haloperidine. So this is number one, two and third. Third portion you have halogen. So this is known as three haloperidine. Right. So this reaction is called as CMACN dense tetrad reaction. Right. So let us discuss this reaction in detail. So this reaction was reported by CMACN and dense tetrad in 1881. So, in which haloform is treated with a base such as sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide or any kind of base to give dihalocarbene. So, this intermediate will be formed. And in the case of methylene halide, when treated with a strong base such as sodium ethoxide or sodium methoxide, it will form monohalocarbene. So, I have given a general reaction here. So, this is a haloform. When haloform is treated with sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, it will lead to the formation of dihalocarbene. So, this is known as dihalocarbene. Right. So, you might have already studied in plus 2 level syllabus that is rimer timon reaction. So, that is a reaction actually. Yeah. So, that rimer timon reaction is applicable to phenol molecule when that phenol is replaced with pyrrole. This reaction is known as CMACN dense tetrad reaction. Fine. So, this is about haloform. So, now let us discuss methylene halide. What will happen when methylene halide reacts with sodium ethoxide or sodium ethoxide? Any strong base can be given and this will be converted into monohalocarbene. Right. So, now whatever the carbene that is formed in this reaction that has to react with the pyrrole moiety. So, that is what given here. The intermediate dichlorocarbene in addition to pyrrole forms an unstable dihalogenocyclopropane which rearrange to 3 haloperidine. So, what will happen here? There is a cyclopropanation reaction is happening here. So, this electron is going here and this electron will be attacking this carbon and lead to the leading to the formation of a cyclopropane intermediate. So, this cyclopropane intermediate is unstable. It will undergo some kind of rearrangement to give the final product that is 3 haloperidine. Right. So, this is about a basic introduction of CMSN dense tetrad reaction. So, with this case, let me give a general example. So, this reaction was reported in 1881. So, by uh, CMSN and dense tetrad. So, in this case, uh, pyrrole is treated with chloroform. In the presence of sodium hydroxide base to form 3 chloroperidine. Right. So, this is a general example. So, with this example, let me discuss the mechanism of this CMACN dense tetrad reaction. So, there is a general reaction just before I have discussed that pyrrole is treated with sodium hydroxide along with chloroform to form 3 chloroperidine. What is the mechanism here? The first step is carbon formation. So, in which chloroform reacts with 
sodium hydroxide base or potassium hydroxide base or whatever the base that you are using in this reaction. Right. So, what will happen here is OH minus takes this acidic hydrogen. So, this hydrogen is acidic because uh, this hydrogen is connected to a carbon to which three electron withdrawing chlorine atoms are present. So, this would be acidic in nature. So, what will happen here? This OH minus takes this acidic hydrogen and as a result, the electron will move towards carbon atom and here water molecule will be removing and which leads to the formation of trichloromethyl anion. So, this is known as trichloromethyl anion. So, this species undergo alpha elimination. So, this process is known as alpha elimination. So, that means one of the Cl group will be taking this electron and it is leaving as Cl minus. And this leading to the formation of dichlorocarbene. So, this is called as dichlorocarbene. If anyone is asking a question, what is the intermediate formed in CMAC and density reaction means, you need to say that is dichlorocarbene is formed, provided you need to use chloroform as the one of the reactant, right. So, once this dichlorocarbene is formed means, it will be reacting with this pyrrole moiety. So, what happens here? You have a pi bond here. So, this electron will be attacking this carbon and this electron will be attacking this carbon, okay. So, which leads to the formation of a cyclopropane intermediate right so once this cyclopropane intermediate will be formed means followed by ring expansion reaction will take place what will happen here so you are using base so this base takes this acidic hydrogen which is connected to nitrogen and as a result water molecule will be removing and it leads to the formation of an anion or nitrogen atom now what happens here this anion will be moving over here and this sigma bond will be broken because we know that the three member ring is highly strained in nature and it will be broken very easily. So, this sigma bond is getting broken as a result one of the chlorine atom will be leaving as Cl minus. Right. So, I have mentioned this bond is only is getting broken. You can check here this bond is getting broken and this electron is moving over here and it leads to the formation of a pi bond and this anion will move over here and it leads to the formation of a pi bond. So, now this structure is somewhat not correct. So, we need to draw the perfect structure for that purpose. We need to give numbering from nitrogen atom 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this is a 6 member ring having nitrogen ring that means a pyridine ring. So, in which third carbon should contain chlorine atom. So, that is what given here. So, you will end up with the formation of 3 chloropyridine. Understood? Right. So, with this let me give one general example of this CMACN dense tetrad reaction. So, this reaction not only applicable for heterocyclic molecule, you can also applicable for hydrocarbon molecules also. So, this is an example of indine derivative. So, this is methyl indine derivative. So, this was reported in 1957, right. So, when methyl indine is, is treated with chloroform along with the base that is known as potassium tertiary butoxide. This base is known as potassium tertiary butoxide. And it leads to the formation of chloromethyl naphthalene. So, this is, an, this is an important thing. So, you are making a new aromatic system that is, that is not only applicable for heterocyclic compound, that is also applicable for uh, aromatic hydrocarbon also to extend its ring, right. So, this means 5 member ring of this indine is getting converted into 6 member ring having a chlorine. So, this methyl indine derivative is converted into uh, chloromethyl naphthalene derivative okay so this is what important thing so if you want uh, mechanism means i will give a brief one so what happens here first step when chloroform and potassium tertiary butoxide reacts together to form dichlorocarbene right so this dichlorocarbene undergoes cyclopropanation with the pi electron of this indine molecule
right so here you have a three pi bonds that means benzene ring is present so what happens here still the reaction is taking place under basic medium so one mole but one more mole of potassium tertiary butoxide comes and takes this acidic hydrogen so this is a benzyl hydrogen which is more acidic in nature so this electron will move over here and this bond is getting broken and it leads to the formation of ring expansion that means five member ring will go to six member ring If you are not able to understand, I give number here, 1, this is 2, this is 3rd carbon, 4th carbon, 5th carbon and 6th carbon. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, that is that is for our understanding, I am giving this number, right. So you can check here between 1 and 2, a double bond formation and 2nd carbon you have methyl group, 3rd carbon you have 1 chlorine atom, 1 chlorine atom will be leaving here, a Cl minus. Right, third carbon will have one chlorine atom and in between third carbon and fourth carbon there is a pi bond formation and this is fifth carbon, this is sixth carbon, five and six. So this is a product formation. So not only for heterocyclic compound but also for aromatic hydrocarbon you can use this reaction, fine. So with this uh, let, let us go to uh, previous year CSIR question part. So this question was asked in December 2013 CSIR examination. This was a four mark question. So the question is 2,3-dimethyl uh, indole. So we have discussed only for pyrrole. So they have asked in for indole molecule, right? So this indole molecule is treated with chloroform aqueous sodium hydroxide A will be product formed. So they are asking what is the intermediate formed and what is the product formed? That is a question, right? So let us discuss the solution to this uh, Question. Initially, we know that when chloroform reacts with sodium hydroxide to form dichlorocarbene. So, this dichlorocarbene reacts with uh, uh, indole moiety. This electron will go here and this electron will move here. So, it leads to the formation of a cyclopropane intermediate, right. So, this is unstable, we know that. What happens here? This intermediate is reacting with sodium hydroxide. So, sodium hydroxide takes this acidic hydrogen and it leaves us water molecule, right. So, as a result, anion is generated in this case. So, what is the next step? This electron will move over here and this sigma bond is getting broken and move uh, between these two carbon atoms and as a result, Cl is taking this electron and it is leaving as Cl minus and which leads to the formation of this product. And again, once again, we need to redraw the structure. So, this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon and sixth carbon. That means there is a period in ring formation. So, the, if you draw the structure properly, you will get this one only. So, this is first carbon, first nitrogen atom, this is second atom, third atom, fourth one, fifth and sixth one, right. So, uh, with this, the intermediate formed is dichlorocarbene. So, where is that? That is, it is present in option B and option D, right. And what is the final product formed? That is 3 chloro 2 4 dimethyl quinoline will be formed. So, what is the right answer? That is option D is the right answer. Four more question, right. So, we have one more uh, previous year CSR question that was asked in December 2017. So, in this case, they have given 3 methyl pyridine. And it is treated with methylene chloride or dichloromethane methane in the presence of methyl lithium as a base. I have already said you need to use a strong base. So, methyl lithium is also a strong base, right. So, what happened in this case? Let us discuss. So, this is a solution. So, just before I explained that when uh, methylene chloride or dichloromethane when reacts with a methyl halide to form monochlorocarbene. So, I will explain how it is happening here. So, You have one hydrogen and two chlorine atoms and here you have one hydrogen, right. So what happens here, the methyl anion from methyl lithium takes this acidic hydrogen as a result, a methane molecule will be removing and it leads to the formation of a carbon anion. So that is dichloromethyl anion. 
So from which one chlorine anion will be leaving. That means alpha elimination takes place. And as a result, it leads to the formation of monochlorocarbene. So that is what I have given here, right? So now this monochlorocarbene reacts with 3 methyl indole. So what happens here? So this electron is attacking this pi bond and this pi electron will move towards the carbon atom. It leads to the formation of cyclopropane intermediate, monochlorocyclopropane intermediate. So we know that the cyclopropane intermediate is unstable. So what happens here? So now one more mole of methyl anion takes this acidic hydrogen and as a result methane will be leaving here. And it leads to the formation of anion on nitrogen atom. So now what happens? This anion will move over here. So this carbon carbon sigma bond is getting broken, and as a result, this Cl minus will be leaving, right? So here Cl minus will be leaving, and it leads to the formation of a ring, pyridine ring formation, right? Right. So this is known as four methyl. Phenolin. Right. So, with this, the CMACN dense tetter reaction is over. So, guys, whatever the concept that I have discussed about CMACN dense tetter reaction, followed by a couple of previous year CSR questions are useful to you. If you find so, you can like the video, share your opinion in the comment section. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. And I will meet you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.